Hello, I'm Brian C. Smith of the Brian C. Smith Group at Berkshire Halfway Home Services, EWM Realty. Uh, I am highly focused on Edgewater, Miami Beach, uh, luxury and commercial real estate. And today I'm going to talk to you about an exciting project that has been announced for Via Miami. The tentative address for Via Miami is 710 Northeast 29th Street. And if you take a look at the skyline shot here of Park West Art and Entertainment District in Edgewater, uh, you can see there's a building we've annotated at AA in the schematic just to the south of Biscayne Beach, which is BB. And this will be the position of Via Miami. Miami has a plethora of pre-construction projects right now, and for a buyer, uh, looking to choose from the vast amount of projects out there, it can be quite a daunting task. Uh, my team is currently tracking about 80 projects uh, throughout South Florida uh, for real estate. And um, I can tell you without a doubt, uh, via, via Miami is one of the most exciting projects um, currently scoped. And I look forward to sharing with you today some of the highlights of the team, uh, the project and the neighborhood. For me, the major differentiator with Via Miami is you have these all-star developers with Terra and 1000 Group with first class, um, let's call it uh, food consulting from the major food group. Um, I think it's an absolutely amazing concept uh, because for me, when I think about the home, it really centers around the family and the food. And that's really the kind of, for me, the, the, you know, the heartbeat of what makes a lifestyle truly opulent and uh, amazing. Major food groups, local South Florida restaurants include the Design District's Contessa and Zizi's Club, as well as Dirty French. Uh, Sidelli's down in Coconut Grove, Carbone in Miami Beach, and the Flamingo Grill and Prince of Pesia, both in Boca Raton. Further differentiation at VIA will be established by the interior design. The interiors throughout VIA are by Vicki Charles of New York Design Studio, Charles & Company, lauded by the design community as a top talent worldwide. She is well known for her hospitality, work and her roster of private clients including George and Amal Clooney, David Bick Beckham, and Harry Styles. Uh, with the Via Residences, Vicky brings a uniquely European sensibility to a city that's been defined for years by white marble and chrome. Via is a departure. It's about romance, noble materials, and warmth. Adding to Via's uh, All-Star uh, team is uh, ODP Architects for Architecture and Ania Garden Company for Landscape Design. ODP Architects is a full-service architecture and interior design firm that has built much of Miami's skyline to date with offices in Hollywood as well as Fort Lauderdale and Tampa. ODP is well-versed in Floridian waterfront living and as such has designed everything from innovative soaring towers like one bayfront plaza to in miami to smaller scale modern residences across south florida uh, residential buildings include 1000 museum one south side park paramount miami world center one bayfront plaza 2 1201 brickle and 888 brickle and commercial spaces include apples flagship store in Aventura, 3050 Aventura, 1895 Tyler, uh, Block A, and 888 Brickle commercial space as well. Uh, Enia, uh, by Enzo Enia, who founded his award-winning firm, uh, Enia Landscape Architecture in 1993, designs gardens for hotels, residences, and public spaces all over the world, from Miami to Zurich. New York City to the Greek island of Kia. Enia's unique and award-winning approach can be found throughout the Via Miami Gardens. Green space composed of native plants 
in conservation with the surrounding landscape. Uh, examples of his hospitality work include Mandarin Oriental in LA, uh, Hotel Ciroys in Switzerland, Forte uh, Marmi in Miami, Hotel uh, Mametsburg in Switzerland, the Cité here in Miami, and Bad Ramsch Co uh, Hotel in Switzerland, as well as public projects at Ania Tree Museum in Switzerland, Simpson Park in Miami, and Brickell Park in Miami. My favorite part of the project is truly the fact that the two all-star developers were able to come together uh, with Terra and 1000 Group. And uh, to put it in perspective, I think it's a knockout punch of if you had combined Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali in their prime. Uh, David Martin, the CEO behind Terra, is known in Miami for having a savvy eye towards the future and taking a civic-minded approach to development. Under Terra's stewardship, Miami's neighborhoods such as Coconut Grove and now Edgewater have evolved into newly vibrant communities complete with luxury residences, world-class dining, and active art scenes. Uh, since its founding in 2001, Terra has regularly collaborate, collaborated with a roster of the world's most prestigious architects and designers on projects such as Five Park in Miami Beach, Mr. C's Residences in Coconut Grove, Botanico, Weston and Weston, uh, Park Grove in Coconut Grove, Grove at Grand Bay in Coconut Grove, 87 Park in Miami Beach, Glass in Miami Beach and Atlantic 15 in Sunny Isles, as well as several commercial projects throughout South Florida. Uh, 1000 Group, uh, Kevin Wegner, Louis Birdman, and Michael Koenig uh, is a partnership of real estate developers with deep roots in Miami as well. And they've collaborated on world-class buildings in prime locations. Uh, the group's vision is to bring innovative, uh, one-of-a-kind luxury real estate developments to life with a relentless pursuit of design excellence and a refusal to settle for anything less than exceptional. 1000 Group pushes boundaries. Most recently, its members oversaw the development of 1000 Museum, the first and final residential skyscraper designed by the late architect uh, Zaha Hadid, and inarguably ushered in a new definition for ultra-luxury living in Miami. Other projects have included Four Seasons Hotel and Tower in Miami, uh, Ten Museum Park, Regalia, and my personal favorite, uh, Paramount Bay. A stunning collection of amenities, services, and spaces awaits at Via Miami, each more enticing than the last. Via Miami's amenities go beyond a curator and a gym. Major Food Group designed the building services to operate as an ecosystem of conveniences where needs are anticipated, coffee orders are known by heart, and a pool, thermal spa, and sauna are always just downstairs. Like a small town unto itself, the building comes with an array of spaces for every kind of gathering and convenience while landscaping architect Enzo Ania Design the grounds according to the spirit of the place, the sun, the wind, the soil, and the water nearby. Amenity spaces are on levels one through five. Level one is arrival and dining, including a lobby, a major food group, restaurant, and bar with outdoor terrace, bay walk, docks, and covered drop off. Level two is dining with another major food group, restaurant, dining room. Level three will be the club level, which will be private resident dining rooms, great room and lounge, boardroom, estate manager, and in-house curator. Level four will be the club, which will be a fitness center, fitness training rooms, game room, screening room, and family entertainment lounge. Level five will be wellness, complete with spa and beauty salon, outdoor pool, treatment rooms, sauna and herbal steam rooms, chromotherapy sensory showers, hot and cold plunges, relaxation lounge, and changing rooms.
Old world elegance with every modern convenience describes the residences at Via Miami. Airy, Italiante living in the heart of Miami. New York design studio Charles & Company developed Via Miami's interiors by marrying a sophisticated European sensibility with a focus on warmth, romance, and the waterfront. Each full floor estate styles residence overlooks the water while sitting high in the sky. Noble materials are used throughout with travertine marble, wood flooring, and soft lighting setting the tone. Via Miami features homes with a private 360 degree view of Biscayne Bay, the lights of Miami, and the far stretching beaches beyond. Sunlight at every hour, wake to the morning light rising over the Atlantic, and take an aperitivo on the back veranda while the sun sets. Interior designer Vicki Charles states, good design is a representation of a good life. We create spaces that are not merely photo ready, but living ready. Her designs will be a welcome addition to the Edgewater neighborhood. I have been enriched as a realtor getting to live in Edgewater for about eight years. And I think the final point here is you can get anywhere in minutes, but you won't want to leave at Via Miami, the new heart of Miami. The 1980s saw the rise of Miami Beach filled with characters from the fashion and entertainment worlds. The aughts witnessed the birth of Miami's art fossil as a mecca of art. Now the next cultural renaissance in Miami is happening in Edgewater, where a new interpretation of waterfront living is emerging built for a certain kind of global citizen who just happens to call Miami home. Similar to 1000 Group's 1000 Museum, Via Miami will feature half floor and full floor condominium homes in the sky. The half floor condos will be about 3000 square feet and the full floor condos will be about 6000 square feet. The half floor units will be either on the north side or the south side of the building, and the full floor units will feature 360 degrees of view. All 60 luxury condo homes in the sky will have unobstructed waterfront views. I hope you enjoyed this presentation on Via Miami coming to Edgewater, Miami. My name is Brian C. Smith of the Brian C. Smith Group at Berkshire Halfway Home Services, EWM Realty, 305-318-8200.